One thing I do like to ask everyone is, is, and you've already kind of touched upon a little bit, Lorna, is, is advice for, for people. So obviously we get into the, by the time this goes out, it will be the new year. People make new year goals, resolutions. One of them might be to get competent with data analysis or, or whatever. So if you could give maybe three points for the total novice that wants to get into sports, um, you know, analysis, sports data analysis, what would, what would they be for someone to, to kind of get, try and get started? Nice. Three points. Um, I would say number one, and it might be might not be something anyone else has said, is have a look at job descriptions that are going out there. I um, say this all the time. People yeah. just yeah, it's so undervalued. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how many people um I see applying for jobs when we do recruitment campaigns. And I'm, I question if they've even read the job mm-hmm. description. Um yeah, like know what the skills are and the experience is that you'll need in order to get the job that you ideally want to do. Mm-hmm. And and plan your development journey out to then hit them if you're not hitting them, I think is is the best advice. Like I knew um, that my physics degree would not hold up if I applied for a sport job. I might somehow get through, but they'd probably be wondering what the hell I was doing applying for a, mm-hmm. a job. Hence, I did the I did the biomech masters. I, I went into sport and did that. So I think that's my best advice is that really worked out for me. So I'd always pass that on of like planning what are the skills that you need? Um, look at the job description read it and then yeah plan plan backwards from that of like okay how are you going to expose yourself to get that experience how are you going to develop the skills that are not necessarily strong enough that if you can't apply for that job yet um yeah so I think that would definitely be be one I think two would be to read and explore the internet as much as possible because there is so much out there in terms of resources especially with chat GPT now right like you can literally in, the, in a really natural way you can ask any question and get sometimes like a decent answer back it might not always be perfect but it's somewhat decent so there's no reason that you can't go and um explore and find out more about topics of interest to you especially if you're starting out in this world try and do like a bit of a an analysis I guess to figure out what jobs are out there and which one you think fits to you and you know use that internet use um like chat gpt to dissect it into a language that makes sense to you i guess if you're struggling to understand that um i think would be two Mm -hmm. um and then i guess three is probably to not be afraid to network and connect and reach out to people i I think that goes a lot long a a lot further than people say it was and it's probably it's something that like i really haven't um i really was afraid to do it um up until the past sort of six months and so many people will be willing to help you and and give you exposure to experiences that you 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 know the thing goes you don't ask if you don't get type thing what is the worst that can happen someone doesn't reply to you or it doesn't end up working out you you, there's so many people out there so many interesting people probably loads of the people on your podcast series and stuff that people can reach out to and um connect with to give them some advice and i'd always be open to you know a half hour chat like it's it's never a bad thing. It works both ways. Companies and people will be looking for candidates candidates when they have job, job opportunities come up. So it's not a bad thing to have already had that conversation with someone and to get to know them and, and learn from their advice and not be not be shy to do it. Um, I think that's three off the top of my head. Yeah, no, three, three very good ones.